Hi kid, we are getting ready to make our New Year's resolutions around here at Kid Time Story Time. Ooh, I have a resolution for the new year. Oh, what is it, Olivia? I am going to star and possibly produce an all ostrich version of of what? Of Romeo and Juliet. Obviously, I will be Juliet. <laughs> I too have a resolution because yes, white rats also have resolutions. Okay, well, what is yours? Well, my resolution this year is to not get run over by a New York taxi cab, which is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> I have a resolution also. Oh, hey, Tibby, the shark. Well, my resolution is to stick to my vegetarian diet. Did you stick with it this year? Uh, no comment. Okay. All right, well, let's crack into the book. I have a resolution too. Okay, Green Bear, what is your resolution so we could start? My resolution is to eat more cookies. That is not a resolution. Yes, it is. What are you wearing? Oh, this right here? Yes. Well, you know how you're wearing your Christmas ugly sweater still? Yes, I love it. Well, I am wearing my ugly Christmas sweater wristbands. Is that a thing? It is now. <laughs> All right. Squirrels New Year's resolution. I mean, you heard theirs. We're going to hear squirrels. And now you got to start thinking about what's your resolution going to be? Because it's a fresh new year. We have to set fresh new goals. Squirrel pinned up her brand new nut of the month calendar. It's January 1st. The radio said a great day to make a resolution. Okay, it is a great day. Not of the month calendar. That is an excellent, excellent gift idea. If you have any, you know, squirrels out there in the family. Make a resolution, wondered Squirrel. How do you do that? Oh, Bear might know. So she went to see Bear at the Lonewood Library. Oh yes, I've spent many, many a joyful hour in the Lonewood Library aisles. Happy New Year, he said. Same to you, Bear. Do you know how to make a resolution? Is it like making a snack? Bear laughed. <laughs> Resolutions are more important than snacks. More important than snacks? Huh. What is a resolution? See, for a squirrel, snacks are a primary activity, so they can't believe that there would be something even more important than that. A resolution is a promise you make to yourself to be better or, or help others. Bear explained, when we begin a new year, we make a fresh start. Wow, did you make a resolution? I did. I resolved to teach others how to read. I'm going to teach Skunk as soon as she gets well. Oh, that's a very good resolution to help your fellow man, or in this case, your fellow Skunk. Oh no, Skunk is still sick, Squirrel thought as she hurried to Skunk's house for a visit. She forgot all about making a resolution. And Skunk, oh poor Skunk, was just sick of being sick. You know the feeling, kid? I am stuck in bed until Dr. Owl says I'm better, said Skunk. I would rather be learning to read. That's my New Year's resolution. See, he's got the book here, Learn to Read. Poor Skunk, stuck in bed. Well, I like the cover, though, purple. It kind of matches with her pearl polka dots. Oh, I, I know you probably can't read this writing, but her perfume is O de U and P U. Yeah, right, like P U. It's a skunk. Squirrel knew how to cheer up her friend. Thank goodness she's there. She hid at the foot of the bed. She popped up and shouted, Bill! Skunk giggled. <laughs> Side and skunk were her favorite game. Squirrel popped up again. Boo! Yeah! Boo! By now, skunk was laughing hard. And laughter, as you know, is the best medicine. Just then, Dr. Owl came by. Ooh. Skunk, I can tell by your laughter that you are feeling much better, he said. Now you can visit Bear. Just make sure you have a healthy lunch first. Ooh. -oo. Lunch, thought Squirrel. She headed towards the Heidi Hole Diner. Ooh, I love the Heidi Hole Diner. They have a great BLT. Maybe someone there can help me with my resolution. On her way, she met Mole and Turtle. Mole was holding a map close to his nose. Ooh, very close. What are you doing? Uh, Mole said, 
Turtle and I resolve to plant a garden, said Mole. But I can't find a good place to dig with all these trees. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of trees. It's hard to find a clearing. Wait here, said Squirrel. And she dashed up an oak tree and looked down because she has a good view. The bird's eye view is also the squirrel's eye view, if you think about it. She dashed up the oak tree, looked down. She spied Wildcat Creek on its bank. A perfect place for a garden. So Squirrel scampered back down again and led Mole and Turtle through the woods to the edge of the creek. She helped them stake out strings for the border of the garden. Thanks, Squirrel. I will start digging right after lunch. Very nicely done. Oh, she's very helpful. Oh, but she doesn't have a resolution yet, but she seems to be doing a lot of great things already. Lunch, thought Squirrel after she rushed away. She still had a lot of a resolution. So at the diner, Heidi Hole, isn't that adorable? I, we should have lunch there someday. At the diner, Squirrel chose a stool next to Porcupine. And uh, Porcupine, you know Porcupine, looking grumpy, kind of as usual. What's wrong? I resolved to be less grumpy, so I'm trying to laugh more, but I can't think of anything funny. Ah, uh, it's tough. It's tough when you're a porcupine. You tend to just be prickly all the time, but at least he's giving it a, tr a chance, you know, a chance at happiness. Oh, I, I can help you think of something funny. Like, why did the squirrel run back and forth across the road? I don't know. Why? Asked Porcupine. Because she was nuts. And Porcupine and Squirrel were wah, 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 wah. I get it. That reminds me. What's striped and bouncy? Tell me. Skunk on a trampoline, said Porcupine. And Squirrel laughed herself right off of the stool, kerplunk. Porcupine said, that's a good one. I better write these down. Off he went to find paper and pencil. Now Squirrel, well... What, what happened? She was doing so well. Everything was laughter and now she just looks wah, wah, kind of forlorn. Squirrel felt left out. Oh, porcupine has a resolution. So do bear and skunk and mole and turtle, she thought. I'm the only animal in the forest who hasn't made a New Year's resolution. Huh. You know, I, I have to think about it too because I just can't keep making the same resolutions every year. I need to come up with something fresh. It's going to take some work to think. Rabbit came to take Squirrel's order. Would you like to try my New Year's special? Asked Rabbit. Sure, said Squirrel. Maybe it will help me make a resolution. I wish I knew how. Think of a way to improve yourself or a way to use what you're good at to help others, said Rabbit. So Squirrel ate the lunch special and thought hard. Ooh, the lunch special is a nice steaming cup of soup here and... Looks like she has a some sort of a muffin with an egg on top on the side. Oh, that sounds yummy, especially on a cold winter's day. And just then, Skunk came in. Hey, Skunk! Skunk is, is seems to be feeling better. I need a healthy lunch. Thanks to Squirrel, I'm feeling better. Oh, sit with me, Skunk, Bear called. I see you brought our first book. Turtle and Mole came in next. Oh, everybody, the whole gang's here. What do you have for two thirsty animals who just started a garden? said Mole. Uh, Sissy's turtle says, Squirrel found a terrific place for it. Oh, so they're getting, giving some credit to their friend for finding the great location. Then Porcupine hurried in. Do you know why Bear said caw caw? Before anyone could answer, Porcupine said, he was learning another language. And all the animals laughed and laughed. Ah, I didn't know you were so funny, said Mole. Me either, said Porcupine. Squirrel got me started. Look at that. Squirrel's making a big... Imp Squirrel is like helping everybody's resolutions come true. She's like a resolution coach, resolution whisperer, resolution enabler. Rabbit said to Squirrel, you're doing a good job on your resolution. Uh, I didn't know I had one. Oh, your actions are better than words. It looks like you resolved to help someone every day, said Rabbit. <gasps> oh, man, that was like a giant light bulb just went off over all our heads, isn't it? R re really? asked Squirrel. I, I did it. I made my very first resolution. Hooray for Squirrel, shouted all the animals. 
it was going to be a very happy new year. I resolved to help someone every day. Look at that. What a fantastic resolution. She had so much trouble and then boom, there it was. So what did you think of the book? Oh, I just loved it. Oh, Fuchsia, I didn't know you were here. Yeah, yeah, I am here to be Tibby's, well, you know, his, his counselor, his, his resolution coach, if you will. Oh, really? I didn't know that you were in that service. I'm really not. The problem is, Tibby is just born to be a carnivore, and no matter how much he says that he is not going to eat anything <clears throat> meaty. Like humans? Yeah, like humans. No matter what he says, the guy needs help. I need help. So, I'm here to help him not eat any humans or bears. Any delicious looking bonbons that happen to me not made of vegetables. Exactly. Which is basically everything in your book. <laughs> uh, no one said it would be easy. Well, I better go. My resolution is to not let anybody get accidentally eaten by my cousin Tippy. Which is also a very nice resolution, don't you think? Oh, I, I agree completely, 100%. You should probably follow him. That's a good idea. Well, whatever you resolve to do, stick to it. And, and, and don't forget why you made that resolution. Whatever you decide to do, it has to be a good resolution. So that way, your year is a smashing success. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, uh, more cookie eating. Again, not a real resolution. You actually have to do less cookie eating. Uh. Well, he'll work on it. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time. And we'll be here all year.